thought for the day. Journaling is the perfect place for you to think, feel, discover, remember, grow, and dream. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we're taking a look at some profound journal prompts to help reveal our deep aspirations. Have a listen. Journaling is the master tool. There's so much research on journaling as a tool for clearing your mind, clearing your emotions, healing trauma, visualizing your future self, tracking your performance as it relates to deliberate practice. Journaling is the master tool for therapy, but it's also the master tool for high performance. Research actually shows that if you write about either your trauma or even just write about your goals for an extended period of time, like three months, that you will have changes in your physical body. You will transform your physical self as you get better and better at writing in your journal. One of the reasons is is that journaling just clears your head. It clears your emotions. It becomes a tool for emotional regulation and also a tool for memory reconstruction. You can use your journal to transform your past, to clarify your story. You can also use your journal for visualizing your future self. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about five specific journal prompts that I would recommend you use every 30 days. Every 30 days, just sit down and answer these five questions. I actually have these five questions in the front cover of every journal I use. I go through about one of these once a month and I open my journal and I answer these questions and then I always use them as a trigger. I use these journals as a trigger to get myself into a flow state, to trigger my future self, to remind myself of my vision, to remind myself of my wins. It's just a great prompt right before I start journaling. As for myself, I usually journal first thing in the morning. When I wake up, I get myself out of my environment. There's a lot of research that shows by changing environments, you actually increase your mindfulness and engagement. It actually makes you more alert. I hydrate, I get in my car, and I either go to the gym or I meet my running partner. And for about 10 or 15 minutes before I either go into the gym or meet my running partner, I write my journal. And the first thing I do is I actually reread my answers to these prompts, and then I journal about my future self and what I'm trying to accomplish that day. So the purpose of these five questions is to give you context to where you're at right now, to clarify your recent wins, just the things that you've accomplished personally or professionally. This gives you a sense of movement, morale, momentum. Then to clarify your short-term goals, what you want to accomplish in the near term, and then ultimately they also clarify what you want to accomplish in the long term. So here are the five questions. The first question is, where am I right now? This question is really fun because it just provides context to where you are. And one thing I recommend is, is that you keep the answers to these questions somewhere where you can access them because it's fun to go back and read your answers to these questions. And so because mine are on the front cover of all of my journals is all I have to do is go back to journals and just open them up. I have one page and I can read, where am I right now? And I would challenge you to write no more than like five to 10 bullet points, maybe one to two sentences each bullet point, just detailing where you're at right now, what you're focused on, what you're thinking about, what challenges you're facing, what you're actually dealing with in your life. And it's just really cool that in that one question, you can kind of get a glimpse into the context of your life. You don't need to go and pour over multiple entries. You could just look back, read that one, answer to that one question, and you can kind of get a sense of, or at least I can get a sense of where I was at, what I was focused on, what I was thinking about, what I was trying to do, what was important to me at that moment in time. And so that question is just really powerful. And it's interesting to answer that question every 30 days because the answers to that question every 30 days can kind of adjust and change. Life does change. Life evolves over time, especially if you're advancing towards your future self, especially if you're moving forward in your life. Where you're at every 30 days is gonna be a little bit different. What you're focused on, what you're thinking about. There's gonna be breakthroughs that you don't expect. So when I answer those questions in a week or two, because I'll be on a different journal by then, my answers to those questions are gonna be totally different. I'm actually in a quite a different place than I even was two weeks ago when I answered that. That first bullet, which was that I was in a power struggle with someone, has completely been resolved, completely healed, completely transformed, no longer relevant. In fact, it turned into a transformational experience. As far as running, my knee is completely healed now and I am advancing amazingly on that. And a lot of other (laughs) amazing things have changed even in the last two weeks. So that answer to that question is just really cool. It just provides context. Question number two is, what are your wins from the last 30 days? 
These wins could be personal, they could be professional. They're any forms of progress or breakthrough that you've had in your learning, or they could be outcomes. They could be things that you've accomplished. They could be just little moments. Maybe it was just having a great experience with one of your kids. Put experiences, learnings, outcomes, any form of progress. What forms of progress or wins have you had in the last 30 days? Write those down because those give you a sense of movement. They give you a sense of what's going on and what you're proud of and what, what you've accomplished or just what you've learned or the experiences you've had. Those just show you that you're moving forward and that is really exciting. That's really empowering. And so what were the wins that you had personally or professionally in the last 30 days? The third question is what are the key wins that you wanna have in the next 30 days? So these are your short-term goals. What are the things you need to accomplish or would like to accomplish? What are urgent and very important that you would love to accomplish in the next 30 days? I would challenge you to think of the top three. What are the three most important things that you would like to accomplish in the next 30 days? Obviously you can expand the list beyond three items, but I would challenge you to really clarify what are the three most important things you could accomplish in the next 30 days that if you accomplish those, it would be an amazing month. And then the next question is, what are your goals for the next 12 months? Where would you like to be in 12 months from now? I would also challenge you on this question to identify the three most important things you would like to see happen in the next 12 months. This then extends your vision a little bit further. And there's an important quote from Robert Brault. He said, we're kept from our goal not by the obstacles, but instead by clear paths to lesser goals. So if you've got 10 items on your to-do list, then you might be pursuing clear paths to lesser goals. And instead of going really far in a few things and the a few essential things, you're taking maybe one or two steps forward in 20 different directions. Far more powerful to take 20 steps in one direction. Far more powerful to go big rather than broad. So where would you like to be in the next 12 months or where would you like to be by the end of this calendar year? Just write some bullet points. What would you like to accomplish? And then the last one is, where would you like to be in three years from now? That's your future self. Three years from now, what would you like to accomplish? And again, finally, focus on three core outcomes. You can obviously put more items on that, but I still want you to have your big three for even three years from now. What would you like to have accomplished in the next three years from now? That's a much more extended, longer term vision. Research shows that high and hard goals are very motivating. And grit, all the research on grit, basically the definition of grit is, is that it's passion and perseverance towards really long-term goals. And so you want longer-term goals. You want things that aren't just quick wins. It's nice to have those 30-day wins. It's nice to have the wins before the end of this year, but it's also nice to have long-term goals that you're working towards that will increase your grit. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.